Hello Scorpio, this is Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let me see if I can... Oh, okay. It's dark, I'm sorry. Um, anyways, I've just pulled some messages out. This is going to be like a mini reading for July of 2020. So we have, first card I pulled out was number 46 of Coming Apart. Okay, this could be a relationship, a job, or just siblings. I, I'm getting siblings like Jim and I here. Um, the twins. Uh, there's something, it's like a tower moment with both of these cards. Because we have number 30, the perfection of your life as well. Which is like, yes, there is a storm coming. There is something breaking down most definitely in your life. But after, <clears throat> because nature, Mother Nature, the universe, they are clearing out what is not needed, right? So it may be scary at first for you to uh, handle the situation that's coming, but in the end, it's going to be beautiful. It's going to be fresh, okay? So something is definitely coming unglued, coming apart for you, Scorpio. This is Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. I have a lot of Scorpio on my chart, so it just depends um, if this resonates or not. I am Brandy. Hello, if you're new. Thank you for tuning in. Um, <clears throat> so it's just, you know, the fresh smell of rain after a storm, right? As I say that, the thunder rolls. Um, it's just, it, it's clearing away, it's watering what's needed to be watered and, and putting it down the drain, so to speak. Okay, and that being said, maybe someone needs to take like a, a healing type of bath with some salts and say a prayer over it and dump a cup of the water outside of your your house in the yard after afterwards, okay? So, <clears throat> and then I pulled the card of protection. They're under the umbrella. Um, kind of funny, it reminds me of Mount Rushmore um, back here, but just completely under this umbrella. It is a number seven, so you are highly protected. So this just goes back to these two cards here of, yes, things are definitely feeling like they are unraveling around you, but they are for the greatest good. They are clearing out, so to speak, your junk drawer. And while you feel things are being tossed out of this junk drawer towards you, you're actually highly, highly protected. Okay, so remember that. And then we have for your love card, this is forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment. So I want to say this is in your love life and in your normal life. Everything coexists. Everything goes together. Um, this is you uh, going with that flow. Um, someone or something happened and you're needing to really forgive yourself, forgive them, forgive the situation. I know it's for... Um, the highest good. Definitely say your prayers. Um, think of it, in a, even if it's all falling apart, think of it in a positive manner. Uh, my car was literally just stolen on the 4th of July, and I am not looking at that. Even though, like, they were like, oh, you got in, yeah, but my insurance isn't going to pay much. It's an old car, it's paid off. I'm not looking at it in that manner. I'm looking at it as a, okay. The universe said, hey, you've refused to get rid of this car that keeps breaking down. You keep putting more money into it than what it's worth. So we're going to force you, you know, into this. I, I That's the only way I can really look at it. And that's the only way I think you can really look at it. I will read this. I have not. After I pull a few tarot and we will be done with your mini read. Can I have three cards for Scorpio? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, please, for the rest of July of 2020. We have two that fell out. So we have the Nine of Wands, the Seven of Cups. What's that? And the Empress. Okay, so these three cards alone completely back up the entire reading that I've just done for you, Scorpio. This is Taurus Libra, but this is also just being able to pick that rubble up and really create and have something better for you that's nurturing and protected. This is the mother vibe, okay? The Empress is the mother vibe. She is all the queens wrapped into one. 
and she is saying you are protected this is growth this is what you needed we need we need new here we need new nurturing new foundation all right okay and then we have the nine of wands smack dab in the middle that's having a battle that's having gone through all this of this coming apart things things crumbling down around you you don't know what to do but you keep pushing forward and he's coming out towards the light okay he's coming out yes with some scrapes with some broken bones but he's able to still walk and he's able to really come out on the other side of this right now you begin with the seven of cups okay uh, like I said there's just a lot of confusion what's going on here you know what am I going to do about this situation remember this is a general and this is saying forgive let it flow let it take out the destruction that's needed another seven by the way okay another seven and then we will read this dear Stu selfless giving is an elixir so sweet and life giving and amazing that it should be customary for everyday living right now generosity is being asked of you let go of a debt release an obligation or do a solid kindness to someone for no other reason than an exercise of the heart you'll be surprised how quickly a generous heart is repaid we know it's often doesn't happen in the immediate exchange so temper your expectation know that life has an uncanny way of sending miracles seamlessly unrelated to your kindness yet interconnected in magical ways the more you act from generosity the bigger your heart will grow and the more love and abundance will experience we also know that someone could be entering your life with a generous offer for you. Take it and trust you are worthy and deserving of it. You have to receive, not just give. That's forgiving and learning from a past situation. If you've learned from this past chaos and stuff that's come into your life, you are feeling very distraught about it. Like you don't know what to do. Um, it just feels kind of chaotic, like you have to keep fighting. No, no. This is saying, let whatever wants to leave, leave your life, Scorpio, okay? Let it leave your life and let it be done and let the new roll into you, okay? Have a blessed day. Please hit subscribe if you have not and thank you for tuning in.